Okay. Pratesh Mashankar. Uh, now uh, he is going to perform his decoding on Saraswati Yantra. He is uh, uh, studying in Delhi of the school. Now he is participating in this talent hunt of Math Genius World Records and Awards. Now he is going to explain about his decoding of Saraswati Yantra. यादेवी सर्व भूतेशु बुद्धि रूपे न संस्थिता नमस्तस्से 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 नमो नमः गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम प्रतीश मशानकर ऑफ क्लास 10 स्टडी इन दिल्ली पब्लिक स्कूल नाचरन हियर बाय टू प्रेजेंट यू माय डिस्कवरी ऑफ डीकोडिंग ऑफ द सरस्वती यंत्र मैथमेटिकली आई एम टेकिंग पार्ट इन द मैथ जीनियस वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड्स एंड अवार्ड्स इन द टैलेंट हंट I will be presenting my presentation in front of you. Mother Saraswati In Rig Veda, Saraswati is a river, as well as its personification as the river goddess has been mentioned in many of the places. In the post-Vedic era, she began losing her status as a river and came to be praised as the goddess of knowledge, spirituality and purity. She is the mother of the Devas. She is the mother of all the Vedas and chants to her, known as the Saraswati Vandana, often begin and end the Vedic lessons. She dresses in white in color, which is a symbol of purity. She rides this white swan, which is a symbol of discrimination, or the Sattva Guna, which is one of the prominent Gunas of the three Gunas, the Sattva, Rajas, and the Tamas. She has the four hands uh, representing the four aspects of the human personality the mind, the intellect, the alertness, and ego. Now you would like to know what is an arithmetic progression. In mathematics, an arithmetic progression or simply an arithmetic series is a series of numbers where the common difference between the consecutive terms is constant. For example, if we have a series 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. This is a finite arithmetic progression consisting of total 6 terms. Here, the first term is 5, the n number of terms is 6, and the common difference would be 7 minus 5, which is 2, 9 minus 7, 2, 11 minus 9, 2, 13 minus 11, 2, 15 minus 13, 2. Here we can up the formula for finding the nth term in the arithmetic series is an equals to a1 plus n minus 1 into d where a n represents the nth term a1 is the first term n is the number of terms and d is the common difference you can substitute for example if you want to find the value of the fourth term we apply the formula 5 plus 4 minus 1 into 2 that will be equal to 5 plus 3 into 2 t2 is 6 6 plus 5 is 11 1 2 3 4 the fourth term in the series also 11 in this way we find the nth term series are of two types the finite arithmetic progression and infinite arithmetic progression we we'll move to the next topic the, sar the word saraswati has been derived from two word two root words of sanskrit saras meaning sara meaning the essence and swa meaning the self Therefore, Saraswati can be uh, represented as the essence of the self. She is the divine consort of Lord Brahma and the creator of the world. Since the Saraswati is represented with the knowledge and mind and intellect, all, only the uh, learned are known to worship her. Mother Saraswati is also worshipped using this yantra as just said the origin of the Sri Saraswati symbol. In Satyuga, which is the prominent of all the four yugas, some of the seers were worshipping Lord Brahma. They had, at that point, they had a vision of the goddess. There was an Akashwani which said that she is the Saraswati Devi. Some of the seers understood this at the subtle level, that is from within. This Saraswati Devi was pleased by them and she gave them the Saraswati Yantra. This symbol, however, was first worshipped in the Treta Yuga by Lord Parshuram, 
after assassinating the 21 generations of the Haihaya Kshatriya Vansha. The meaning of the Sri Saraswati Yantra. The Sri Saraswati Yantra consists of seven Devnagari numeral one on the tip of the Yantra. These seven Devnagari one represent the seven basic swaras of the musical scheme. We have the first swara that is Sa, representing the Sadash, Rishabh, Gandhar, Madhyam, Pancham, Dhaivat, and Nishad, which in turn represents the seven basic chakras of the human body. Starting from the Sahasra Pada Chakra to the Agnya Chakra, Vishuddha Chakra, Anahata Chakra, Manipura Chakra, Swadishthana Chakra, and the Muladhara Chakra. The pattern of the seven Devnagari numeral one also denotes the emission and absorption of the Shakti given by the Sri Saraswati Devi. What are the benefits of worshipping this Saraswati Yantra? There is three person principle of Saraswati in the Saraswati Yantra that is beneficial to the worshipper. Sri Saraswati Devi, 60% Tara Shakti and 40% Marak Shakti is emitted from the Yantra. Therefore, even if a person's spiritual level is less than 30 to 40 percent, he is still able to gain the benefits of this Saraswati Yantra. The Saraswati Yantra not only works on the basis of Shakti, but also works on the basis of Shanti, that is bliss, and Ananda, that is peace. So, Ananda, that is bliss. The Yantra prevents the formation of a black sheep around the mind of a person. When the worshipper continues to worship it, his intellect and speech are purified by performing the sadhana such as chanting a mantra in front of the Saraswati Yantra. Sri Saraswati Devi is pleased with him and graces the person who worship the Yantra with regularly with power. He is able to grasp difficult subjects in a very short period of time. The Saraswati Yantra is majorly worshipped in two forms. One in the form of a poem and other in the form of an image which is evident on the first pages of the notebooks. For my decoding, I have taken the later part, that is the one which is evident on the front page of the books which is worshipped by almost all the educational institutions, especially in the region of Maharashtra and Karnataka. The symbol which has been worshipped since ancient time is now being mathematically decoded. Here we have the Saraswati Yantra. All the red, brown, maroon, 